Welcome back to A Level Lessons Online. Okay, uh, I'm going to be moving on into a new realm, okay, of a different subject already, okay? We're going to be looking at um, this subject called math, okay? Mathematics, all right? So we're going to look at H2 math, okay? Um, I'm going to be starting off with some questions, okay, from your previous A Level papers. Okay, and now I'll be going through some question analysis on these papers first. Um, because I understand that there are some of you J2s out there or those of you who may be taking A-levels this year um, who may find certain struggles with certain types of questions. Okay, you may not understand how to answer it. Okay, then after which, um, in the future, okay, uh, quite soon actually, I'll be going through more on your content. Okay, so topical um, content. Okay, um, kind of like a lecture series sort of just like my Joy Any Con series as well. Okay, I'm going to be covering H2 math okay, because um, a lot of the things that are covered in H1 math are also covered in H2 math. So it kind of like covers up um, any possible questions that may overlap. Okay, whereas H2, H1 math questions may not exactly be applicable to H2 math okay, because um, H2 math tends to be uh, harder. Okay, the question has tend to be much harder instead. Okay, so today I'm going to be covering your 2017 paper. Okay, um, the 2017 paper question one first. Okay, it's going to be a question that a lot of you guys will be starting with if you try this paper. Um, and it is indeed a very, very fun question and a very easy question to start with. Okay, so I'm going to be going through step by step what you need to look out for in the question and then how you're going to answer it as well. Okay, so this question, let's start. Okay, question one goes using standard series from the list of formula MF26. So it is basically any formula sheet that has been pro provided to you in the exam. Okay expand e to the power of 2x ln 1 plus ax as far as the term in x cubed okay whereby a is a non-zero constant so this is already a hint okay a is a non-zero constant which means that um definitely um the value of a will likely have two values okay so that's kind of like a hint okay that if you only get one value in the end something is wrong okay so hence find the value of a for which um there is no term in x squared so there are already two hints over here. So the first hint is that A is a non-zero constant. The second hint is that there is no term in X squared. So what does it mean by no term in X squared? Very simply, it means that there will be, um, your X squared will, will be equivalent to zero instead. Okay, so you're asking to find the value of A over here, so make sure you find that, okay? So, it is a four mark question, quite low marks, okay? So we're gonna first look at MF26. Okay, I want you to identify, okay, which are the um, expansionary um, um, formulas that you can use in this question. Okay, so you have got exponential here, you got e to the power of 2x, you have got ln 1 plus ax. So very easily pointed out, okay, I'll write it out over here as well. Okay, I've got e to the power of x, this is straight from my formula sheet, okay? Equals to 1 plus x. Okay, let me just redo that, okay? 1 plus x plus x squared over 2 factorial plus x cubed over 3 factorial plus dot 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 plus x to the power of r over r factorial plus dot dot dot. So this is the formula for your exponential your e to the power of x. On the other hand, I've also not, I also have another formula which goes ln 1 plus x equals to x minus x squared over 2 plus x cubed over 3 minus dot 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 plus minus 1 to the power of r plus 1 x to the power of r over r plus dot dot dot. Okay, so these are essentially the formulas that I've just taken, copy and pasted from my formula sheet. Okay, so now what you're going to do is you're going to substitute the, the values that correspond to these um, formulas and start to write your answer. Okay, so whenever you start writing answer, I will first go by saying e to the power of 2x. So I'm just going to copy my question. Ln 1 plus ax equals. Okay, so first one, we're going to look at your exponential, okay? So just going to copy straight 1 plus k. So over here, you notice that it has become a 2x, correct? So because of 2x and here it's x, okay, you're just going to change the value. It is going to become 1 plus 2x. Okay, we put a bracket so that you can identify what is the difference. Okay, then you substitute all the x to become 2x. Now you have 2x squared over 2 factorial plus 2x cubed over 3 factorial. Okay, then you're just going to add a plus dot dot dot. So whenever it comes to these kind of questions, you always want to have a plus dot dot dot. Okay, so that um, you you will basically, because this is not an estimation yet, so this is kind of like 2 infinity. Okay, the x, the, 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 this um, series can go on for an infinite 
um, amount of, of time. Okay, so it can keep on going on. That is the reason why you want to try and um, actually have that plus dot dot dot. Okay, if you want to get rid of the plus dot dot dot, you can. Okay, but you have to make sure that you do um, an, like a squiggly line. So equivalent, so estimate. Okay, so after this, then I have got the lawn 1 plus AX. So I'm going to add that in as well. Times AX minus AX square. So just substitute the AX for AX instead. Over 2 plus AX cube. So the whole thing AX cube over 3 plus dot dot dot. So this would be your lawn 1 plus AX. Okay, so after this, you're just going to expand it out. So when you expand, it's very, very simple. Simple expansion. Okay, you will have 1 plus 2x plus 2x square plus 4 third x cubed. Plus dot, dot, dot. And then for the lawn 1 plus ax, you have ax minus a square x square over 2 plus a cube x cube over 3 plus dot 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 okay so this is what the expansion will look like okay after you have done this then you want to um take out the brackets okay so this will be some, what some of you guys call your rainbow uh, rainbow formula remember you're basically going like that correct so some of you may have learned this before okay but remember the question is asking us okay to only do it until to the power of x cubed so you're just going to look for everything that will multiply each other to become x cubed Okay, and then that's all you're going to do. So first one, I've got 1 times ax, so ax will stay. After that, I've got 1 times negative a square x square over 2. So I'll have minus a square x square over 2. And then I've got a cube x cube over 3 times the 1 over here. Okay, after which, then I move on to my 2x. So 2x times ax, okay, I'll get plus 2ax square. I'll get minus a square x cubed. Okay, when 2x times minus a square x square over 2. And lastly, because it's only until x cubed, so I'll just take 4 third x cubed times, um, sorry, no wrong. I'll just get, I'll take 2x squared, sorry, times ax, then you will just get plus 2ax cubed. So that is all. Okay, so you're only leaving until x cubed. The reason you can't go further, okay, is because you will notice that if I were to use 4 third x cubed, multiply it by ax, I'll get x to the power of 4. So that's not what the question wants. We want to stop at power 3. Okay, so that is where we will end it off. Okay, so after this, you just need to basically, um, for, for, for easier recognition, okay, I would recommend that you group it based on the power of um, x. Okay, so if I group it accordingly, you will have equals to ax plus 2a minus a squared over 2. So I'm just taking out the x squared over here plus, then now I take out the x cubed, I'll have 2a minus a square plus a cubed over 3 x cubed plus dot dot dot. So, oh sorry, I forgot to put the plus dot dot here. So make sure you always have the plus dot dot okay, because you haven't estimated it yet. Okay, so like I said, if you want to get rid of the plus dot dot dot, right, you just need to do a squiggly line. So squiggly line, ax plus 2a minus a square over 2 x square plus 2a minus a square plus a cube over 3 x cubed. So this would be if you want to estimate. Okay, it means that you're estimating that the Maclaurin series will end over here. Okay, so now we want to answer the question. Okay, you've already found um, a lot of things over here. So now you look at the question, right? What is the next hint that they give you? Okay, a is a non-zero constant and there is no term in x square. So when there's no term in x square, it essentially means that this whole portion over here is equivalent to zero. So what you will do is, since there is no term in x square, comma, you would take 2a minus a square over 2 equals to zero. So if you multiply all by 2, you will get 4a minus a square equals to zero. So you just need to take out the a, you will get a. Uh, 4 minus a equals to 0. So you have a equals to 0 or a equals to 4. Okay, so that's your two answers right there. Okay, but then the question goes on to state that a is a non-zero constant. 
Okay, so since it is a non-zero constant, it means that it has, the answer has to be the one that it is positive. It, has, it cannot be zero, okay, because it's a non-zero constant. So what you do is just simply write below a equals to zero that this is not applicable and a, and hence your answer is simply a equals to four. So very simply, that is how you answer this kind of a McLaurin series question. So always take it one step at a time, okay, and look out for what you are substituting. Okay, in this case, we are looking at substituting certain values. Okay, so when you want to substitute certain values, for instance, e to the power x, okay, you notice that over here is e to the power 2x. If it's e to the power 3x, then you will substitute all the x to become 3x instead. Okay, so likewise for ln, okay, if it is 1 plus, let's say, um, bx, so all your a will become b instead. So look for what you're substituting, and if not, this should be free marks, okay, it's actually very, very simple. Okay, so this is actually the first question of the 2017 paper 1. Okay, your answer is a equals to 4. Go and try it out yourself, okay, um, this should kind of like be a solution. Okay, if you have any questions, okay, leave it down in the comment section below, okay, I'll answer it as soon as possible. If not, if you did enjoy this video, okay, be sure to give it a thumbs up. It really does help me out a lot, as well as to subscribe to the channel. If not, I'll see you guys in the next question, question 2. Alright, till then, bye-bye.